It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a mild to show you. I love a mild. A beer that kind of, when you think about it, you think of maybe, maybe the olden days, the old world, but a mild. I haven't had a mild in a long time. Right, this is called Renegade Brewery Mag's Mild, described as a dark ale at 3.4% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. Brewed at Yatterton in the UK, in Berkshire. I used to call it Berkshire years ago. Berkshire. It, when I first started reviewing these beers from Berkshire, um, I, I used to read it as a B. Berkshire. <laughs> I had to kind of, one of those kind of names I had to drum into my mind. Berkshire, not Berkshire. Right, okay, beer in the glass then. Let's get it out. I'm going to be reviewing it with some uh, co-fresh Balti mix. Um, I've had a lot of Bombay mix, but I've never had a Balti mix. So looking forward to pairing this mild with a an Indian snack. But you don't see so many milds these days. Certainly... kind of written on a bottle or a, or a can. They're very much they're very much a kind of just a very small thing these days, Miles. They're generally called stouts, porters, dark ales these days. But I, what, what you get from a mild is slightly kind of the slight use of roasted malt, lots of dark malts, and it's quite kind of light in, in the ABV. There we go. So there's the beer in the glass. That's a look at it. We've got a one finger, very thin, slightly off white head, dark coloured beer in the glass. Good levels of carbonation, slow moving carbonation in the glass and it's not not a bottle conditioned beer. So let's get the aroma then on this. Mm. Yeah, lots of what I would call berry fruit flavours from the hops, the traditional British hops used in this beer. Maybe some plum and fig and prune mixed with a little bit of kind of roasted malt, a little bit of chocolate malt in there. It smells really good though, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Nice. Nice, a a right supper of a beer. You could just sup on this quietly in the corner with your newspaper. Not not many people read newspapers these days, but uh, you kind of you gather. You you think, don't you? Um, with these sorts of beers, these milds, I love them, but you think kind of like flat pack, uh, flat cap, in the corner of the pub with a newspaper. And maybe a pipe hanging out the gentleman's mouth drinking it. Or oh, woman for that matter. Very drinkable, very refreshing. A little hiss of carbonation as the beer hits the mouth. Pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's very much plum, fig, prune. Um, British kind of hedgerow kind of berries flavours. And then you get some bitterness on the back end from the hops. It's really quite, it's a lovely kind of rolling bitterness that just kind of, it, it just creeps up on you, 
And with that bitterness, you have some of the kind of the roasted malts in there, a little bit of kind of just a touch of dark, rich coffee, a touch of dark chocolate, a touch of sweet caramel. It's really good. Now, Renegade Brewery, uh, they used to be called West Berkshire Brewery. Um, Renegade kind of came in and saved them. So I imagine Mags Mild, many people remembered it as being a West Berkshire Brewery beer. But I met them in the Great British Beer Festival 2023, back in the summer. And um, it was one of the first bars I went to when I, when I visited the GBBF. And they were all really friendly, all cool guys. Um, the brewers were there as well. They knew their beer inside out. They knew their hops and their malt inside out. And it was nice that kind of, I think they, 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 one of their most famous beers, West Berkshire Brewery, is a beer called Good Old Boy. Everybody in that area will remember Good Old Boy. Well, that's, that's now Renegade Brewery. And it's nice that they've, they have a craft range. They have a canned craft range. Which is really cool. So they're showing that they're progressive. But then they got that kind of little nod to the past as well. They're saying, hey, this is where we were. This is where we're at. People still buy and drink the beer. Good old boy. And people recognise those brands. Let's keep them. And I think that's really good business. Not just good business, but, but good kind of like... Good, like, like tipping your, your hat. Giving a nod to the to the beers that this brewery once brewed. It could have been quite easy for them to, to go straight into a new brand of beer. But I think it would have been difficult to kind of get everybody's attention really quickly. But you'll get people's attention quickly when you put beers on the bars, good old boys, those sorts of beers which people kind of know and understand. You've got a much better chance of traction. That's what I'm looking for, traction. But it's a really nice mild. I could drink pints of that. Pints and pints and pints. Let's see what it's like with the co fresh Balti mix. This cost me about a quid in Asda. What you find with the co fresh stuff is really cheap. And per grammage, it's still really cheap. So. If you were to buy, say, Walker's Crisps, Walker's Crisps will sell you bags, maybe 140, 140 grams, 150 grams, and they'll try and charge you two, two pound 50 a bag for them. This is 200 grams, 200 grams of Baltimex, which is really, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good, isn't it, eh? It's gonna be good. It's Baltimex, it's like Bombay mix, but it's a pound. So you get more, more for your money, and it's cheaper than kind of the big brand stuff, Walkers, etc. So it's like dried noodles. You've all probably seen it. It's, it's like dried noodles, lentils, peas, peanuts, split peas, that sort of thing. I eat it by the bag. I can devour this whole bag. Oh, it's hot. Yes. Mmm. Yeah, this is good. Crunchy cereal like. Flavors crispy, crunchy. Mmm. Then it becomes a paste in your mouth. And then that paste becomes kind of whoa, a real quite hot. A real quite hot. Oof. Chili flavour. They are fantastic. Fantastic. I love stuff like Bombay mix with beer. Balti mix, Bombay mix. Pound a bag, 200 grams, you can't go wrong, can you? So I'm going to rate them. Bombay mix goes really well with the beer. 
Oh, it's hot though. Whoa. Um, yeah, they're lovely. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten with a bounty mix. Uh, Renegade Brewery Mags Mild Dark Ale. For a 3.4% ABV beer, it's rich, it's malty, it's bready, all of those kind of dark berry fruits I was talking about come through. Lovely little bit of roasted malt in there, it's lovely. A really good example of a mild, that gets a 9 out of 10 too. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Graft Beer. I hope you liked the video, please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.